everyone and welcome back to another episode of Endless Ocean Story Mode. If I can get my cursor to work, we will go ahead and start. So I, since it's been a while, I kind of forget where we are in the story. I'm pretty sure we are somewhere in the Volca Castle, but then my storage cut out, so I don't really think you guys saw that much of what really happened after that. So let's just jump right in and see where we are. Um, I still have not trained my dolphins so we can get other dolphins and stuff or cut my hair again. If you guys know where this, where, um, or how to unlock Nancy's quest for the scissors, please tell me. Because I have no idea, or at least I forgot. I remember getting them when I first did a playthrough of the game, but I forget how, to, how I got them or how to get them anymore, but, you know. Okay, so Cicero Strait Agency. Cicero's, I think. I don't know. So we are going to go ahead and head back over to our little well of the full moon, I'm pretty sure, over here on the map. And, yeah, just pretty much start back, um, start back up where we left off. And I'm going to try to finish up the Volca Castle scene today, or in this episode, but we will see. Because as you can see, we're probably going to have to do multiple dives, and my air is already um, down by one little notch, so it may take a couple dives. So again, like I said, I haven't really played this in a while, so I may forget a few parts of the story and how they work, so it might take me a minute, and I apologize, but it sh still should go by pretty quickly, as planned at least. We'll head up here. And we will not spend very much time in any of these rooms, so if there are any rooms that you guys want me to explore that I will not get to in here, just leave a comment down below, but I will kind of mention them as we go through. Um, well, let's see, I'm pretty sure our first stop is Mermaid's Ballroom. Stop! There are lunar lionfish here. Their long dorsal and pectoral fins are extremely venomous. It would be incredibly painful if you were stung by one of them. They won't actively attack you, but they're still very dangerous. It's better just to stay away from them. Okay, so that is what we are going to do as I swim right under them. Okay, what is this? The door is locked from the other side. You cannot open it from here. So probably over here in the mermaid's ballroom. But this is the underwater gallery where we might be able to see Thanatos. Maybe? From the windows. Well, Thanatos, the shark from last time, the big shark, can be seen sometimes in the windows of the underwater gallery, which I will keep an eye out for him for you guys, but I doubt we will see him here today. Okay, so like I said, I'm pretty sure our first stop is the Mermaid's Ballroom, where we will catch a glimpse of the false killer whale, which I will end up befriending in one of the later episodes, which I will probably do an episode on, um, Befriending all of our little dolphin friends, which will come up soon. And I haven't been focusing in on any of these fish, so I might get a few of them. Oh. Well, let's see. Um, I'm pretty sure it's one of these doors over here on the far end. Maybe? Oh, I think this is it. Yeah. So we're going to head into this back room where we will check out this painting. 
hey, look over here, there's a map, or there's some kind of weird map. Can you hear me down there? It sounds like you found something quite unusual. That's a map of the circular earth, also known as an Anaximander's map of the world. Anaxa who in the what now? It's one of the several world maps that the ancient Greeks created. It depicts three large continents on a circular disk surrounded by a single ocean. Imagine what the ancient Greeks would think of the modern day globe. That map may be, may be something from Prince Volca's private collection. Well, what do you know? This should be, if I'm correct, the door to the ballroom. Yep, I was correct. And here is our false killer whale. So there should be a key on that throne to one of the doors. I forget exactly which one, and there is also a legendary creature in here somewhere. And I'm pretty sure I'm diving with Oceana, so I will take a look at it, but this is the false killer whale. Can you hear me? It's Gene Eric. That's a false killer whale. It's bigger than the other memory, the other members of the dolphin family. They get their name from their, from their similarity to orcas, also called killer whales. They're curious and intelligent, and some even appear in shows in aquariums. I think they're absolutely beautiful. They are very cool. If any of you guys ever saw um, Blue Planet 2 or are thinking of seeing it in um, the very first episode, One Ocean, there is a very cool um, scene with the false killer whales communicating with the bottlenose dolphins, which like, people used to think was impossible or anything. I'm gonna focus in on this guy because it would be pretty cool to have him in our encyclopedia. But let's see. What is this? Our air is down halfway. This is probably going to take a couple trips. Okay, so we got another room with our groupers here. And what does this say? The door has been unlocked. So this, if I'm correct, leads back out to where we were. Yeah, because we were coming all down over here. We went up the tower. We went through here. Took a right. And then we found that this door was locked. So there should be, and then this goes into the ballroom. So over here. Okay, it's locked tight. There's some kind of Latin inscription on the front of the lock. He who rests in the king's position will surely enter the royal study. Well, I think that's what it says anyways. Latin's not really my strong suit. The king's position, what's that all about? Okay, so the king's position is probably where that throne was in the mermaid's ballroom with the, uh, the Luna lionfish standing on top of it. And if this lets us get into the study, I'm pretty sure that is where we will find the treasure. But let's see. I think there's something there, but it's but there's a dangerous Luna lionfish in the way. If you're too nervous to reach past it, perhaps you could use some kind of tool that you could use to persuade it to move. Yeah, I would assume that the treasure would be in the study because, um... There we go, glorious key. Since, you know, we're kind of using a key to get in there and all that. What could this key be for? Can you think of anything? Yes, I can definitely think of something. I'm pretty sure when we go into the study, though, we can get our air replenished, so that is good. Please move. Okay, you use the glorious key to open the lock. Here we are. Some creepy music in the background. This is the king's chamber. You know what, I'm actually not gonna go here right now. Because there is one other thing that I want to check on. And it is a legendary creature. Which way am I going? We want the ballroom. If I am correct, I'm not sure if you have to complete story mode for this or what, there should be some sort of a legendary creature called the Elurus Pearl right in front of the throne. I don't see it though, but I will check here just in case. Nope. 
Instead, we have a Molo Stinger. All these are fun. So what you can do is you can um, wave your hand and touch it and it will glow a lot. It will make it mad. But there's actually a reappearance of a Molo Stinger coming up when we go to the Cavern of the Gods which will take me a very long time to get to because this is quite a long game. But let's see. Where are we going? The study. I hope that is not it. There we go. Come on. Get in there. There we go. Okay, so let's check out this painting first and foremost. This must be a portrait of Prince Volca. There's something written on the frame. Even after I'm gone, I will watch this door forever and protect my treasure from thieves. Hmm. That picture used to give me nightmares when I was younger when I first played this game. Oh, we have little sharks down here. Let's focus in on the, these little dudes. Cloudy cat sharks. Huh. There's an ornate desk. How interesting. The shelves are covered in the remains of decomposing books. Only one volume is still in good condition. The title is Clavis, which means key in Latin. Check the book. Oh wow, it's a hidden door. What's inside? We've got to find out. Come on. And... Of course, Song of Dragons. Do you hear that music? What, wait, do you hear that? What's that sound? Is it music? Can't you hear it? What is it? It's a problem is what it is. No, the door! Don't tell me this is some kind of trap. It's locked. I don't think we can open. Well, I don't think we can open it. Let's try calling Grandpa. Hello, Grandpa? It's no use. The signal isn't getting through. What are we gonna do? We're trapped. Don't panic. You're right. We need to calm down. Let's try to find a clue to help us escape. I can't stop thinking about that hidden door we just opened. I'm going to need air if we're gonna get through this. And they do not give the air. Great. Um... We are gonna have to make this quick then. In here first. There we go, we're gonna need that definitely for later episodes. Our constellation coins. Is there anything else? No. Multi sensor. Yes. Oh, it's probably gonna be too big for us to put in our bag. Yeah, it's not even worth it. Okay. Our Okinos tablet, so we can't fit an ingot in our bag, but we can fit a lapis lazuli tablet. It's beautiful. There are what look like characters or designs covered, carved into the surface. It's been preserved so carefully, it must be incredibly valuable. I wonder if the owner of the Volca Castle created all this just to hide this tablet. If he did, then this must be a place he visited regularly. And that means there must be a way to reset the trap. Let's go back to the king's chamber and search it again. Okay, we are going to do our quick turn and get over here. Okay, so there's two things. We have the desk and we have the door that we can go over to. But first, I'm going to grab these coins. So the coins aren't exactly used for money. You just collect them and once you finish up collecting them, you get like a title or something. But they're still kind of fun to collect. And they're pretty, mostly easy to find. I had to use the wiki for like the last few. But let's see. Door does not move. Okay, that was useless. I would think that they would share your air, or sh share on um, the, Oceana would share her air with you, but I guess not. Hmm, not exactly how I remember it being played, but okay. You found something that looks like a lever underneath the desk. Pull it. 
You heard something move inside the door, but it still will not open. Let's take another look at this door. It's gotta go all the way back. Maybe the, level, maybe the lever that we saw under the desk a moment ago opens this door. Well, it seems like it should. I wonder if it's broken. What are we going to do? Let's try it together. Together? What do you mean? Oh, I get it. One of us can pull the lever while the other one pulls the door. It might work if we do it at the same time. It sounds simple, but it's worth a try. Okay, I'll pull the lever after I count to three. Pull the door when I say pull. One. Two, three, pull. Yay. Woohoo, now we can get out of here. Oh, would you look at that? Wow. That's a huge North Atlantic right whale. I guess they're in Cis uh, excuse me, I guess they're in Cicero Strait too. That was eerie. I swear that whale was looking straight at us. Grandpa must be starting to worry. Let's get back to the boat. Definitely. I have no other use to be here. And that went a lot quicker than I thought it would. I thought that we were going to have to take two trips, but I guess not. My diving level went up. Yay! So now we can be underwater longer. Oh, wow. Got a lot done. Thank goodness you're both all right. I was so worried after I lost radio contact with you. How did your search of the Volca Castle go? Well, we found this. A lapis lazuli slate. That's odd. Why would something like that be there? Let me take another look at it. How strange. This writing is completely different from what's on the bracelet we found recently. I wonder if this is the legendary treasure of the Volca Castle. Is what that salv- It's what that salvager was looking for, right? isn't it? yoo -hoo, you talking about me? Ah, Gaston Gray? Gotta call him Good Good Game. How many times do I have to tell you, please call me Good Game? <laughs> Sounds so much cooler, you know? Alright. GG, Good Game, Ocean and Ubisoft. Uh, uh, what? Good name, you mean? <laughs> so that's all the excitement about? Oh, excuse me. So what's all the excitement about? Oh, just a little surprise we have for you. You know, le you know legendary Volca Castle and its treasure? They probably meant you know the legendary Volca Castle and its treasure. We found them. Before you. For the win. You what? You got to be joking. Nope, I even have the proof. If you, um, would you like to see it? That's one of the Okino's tablets. Hmm. Well, if that's the only thing you found in the Volca Castle, it means the Prince Volca hadn't gotten a hold of it yet. What are you mumbling about? I've just realized what I'm looking for isn't even here. You know something about this tablet, don't you? Yes, it's one of a set of tablets left by a mysterious ancient people called the Okinides. I'm gonna turn the sound down a little bit. There we go. Quite a few have been found around the world, but they're out of place artifacts, never filtering into the right place, into the right time or place. They went to all the trouble carving stuff into precious lapis lazuli, so they must have been trying to tell us something. But there's no one alive who can read this alphabet. So you don't know what it says? Nobody does, and because of that, the only value it has right now is archaeological. What I'm searching for has a lot more real-world value. Something that jingles in the pocket, you could say. You mean like silver and gold coins? Well, let's just say that's my little secret. But anyways, thanks to all of you, I can now cross this place off my list. Hasta la pizza! He doesn't care about anyone but himself, does he? Oh shoot, what is it now? Our bet, he lost the bet. He didn't find the castle first. He said he'd scrub her boat. Bah, he probably would have done a terrible job anyway. On a more serious note, you save Oceana yet again. Please accept my sincerest thanks. It's already light out. Let's go back and get some sleep. You earned a new title, Mediterranean Adventurer. Yes, we would like to save our progress. Okay, so I'm pretty sure coming up next will be our interaction with 
or our introduction with um, Hayoko or Hayoko, I don't know. And we will hopefully be going down to the, um, the aquarium and the north coast of Canada. The discovery of the Volca Castle made headlines all over the world. An LNL diving surface was suddenly thrown into the limelight, but the mystery still remained unsolved. Why did Oceana's father encode information in the pendants? Could Oceana's father have been searching for the Okinos tablet that was found in the Volca Castle? Right now, the tablet is the only clue. I know we've just returned, but there is something I would like to tell you. The news about this discovery of the Volca Castle has spread far and wide. It has made the LML diving service a little famous. Because of that, we've started to receive requests from all around the world. There are photo requests from people who want photographs of a place or animal, and guide requests from people who want to be guided around areas like tourists. And we do not need to worry about that because no one really cares. Alrighty, we are going to go ahead and end it there. Um, like I mentioned in the next episode, we will definitely be going down to um, the aquarium to go meet Hayoko and hopefully, hopefully the north coast of Canada. I'm not exactly sure. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and goodbye.